on Game of Thrones, Peter Dinklage took some shots at Disney, and Disney has responded in kind of a controversial way. I'll explain what they said in two minutes when we jump into the Hollywood hashtag on the Wake Up with Brett and Julie. Julie's on vacation till tomorrow. It's why 98 St. Louis. Someone was hit by a car, was caught on camera, and it went viral. And it's kind of for a good reason. We'll explain in about five minutes. This is your Hollywood hashtag with Julie Tristan. But first, we got to jump into the Hollywood hashtag. Julie's off till tomorrow. She'll be back. Thank God. She'll take over the Hollywood hashtag. Nobody does it like Julie quite, does it? A lot of people talked about that Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills game. I think a lot of people talked about it because it was one of the most watched playoff games of all time. 35 million people. The numbers Whoa. have come in. Wow. Watch that game. Also, the guy who ran into the field... Yeah, uh, he was from Missouri. Twenty-year-old guy runs onto the field, and I don't know if he saw it because it also went viral. Stephen Diggs just nails lays him, to him the, lays him out. That video you could probably catch on Y98.com. It just getting just drilled. Uh, they found out the man's name. He's been arrested, and that's finally taken care of. Don't do that. Wow. But hashtag that was the Super Bowl. <laughs> yep. I would agree. Yesterday, we talked about this story. Peter Dinklage made some comments about the new live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Uh, and Disney has responded. To remind you what he said about the remake, this is what he said. There's a lot of hypocrisy going on, I got to say, from somebody who's a little bit unique. You know, it's yep. really progressive to cast a, a Latino actress as Snow White. But you're still telling the story of Snow still White, Snow White. And yeah. Seven Dwarves. Sure. Makes no sense to me. You're progressive in one way, and then, but you're still making that backward story of back to seven dwarves <laughs> living in a cave to get what we, you know. Now we talked about how we kind of agreed with them. Like, you're pro it seems like a hypocritical right. way to do this. Disney did respond to him, said to avoid re reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film, we're taking a different approach with these seven characters and having consulting members of the dwarfism community. Now I feel like. You're not listening to what he just said. He's part right. of the community. Right. He's actually a award winning actor from the community saying, Don't make this movie. Do it in a different way. I'm not mad that you have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'm just saying, if you're going to remake it, let's correct some of the mistakes we made in the past. Yeah, I feel like he, he can speak on behalf of everybody else mm -hmm. that, that feels that way. And he, you know, he like you just said, he's an award winning actor. Like, take what he says and, <laughs> and go with it. You're saying I'm consulting like, people from that community. Yeah. That's the, the first person you should call. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> hashtag Disney, you're not listening. <laughs> you caught it on camera. We'll talk about it in three minutes how one lady got hit by a car. Oh my God, what a crazy moment to actually be recording. And you can relive it. Maybe it's a funny mo moment. What was maybe it's a historic moment in your life, but something special happened to you, and you were rolling that camera. 314 531 9898. This story has gone viral because a reporter actually was recording her stand up, doing like the, the reporter thing outside, and a car rolls in and nails the reporter, knocks her over. And she kept her live shot going. Kept she was doing the job. Just kept doing it. That's like, dedication. She yeah. was still like, yeah, the <laughs> snowfall is happening, and I'm right. out here just getting hit by cars <laughs> all by herself. Rocks this newscast. Goes viral. If you want to see it, you can go to Y98.com and see this video. I couldn't believe this reporter did this. She needs a raise, right? Has anyone out there ever had a moment where you're like, oh, my God. That happened, and I caught it, Alex. <laughs> I've never been recording and gotten hit by a car, but back in college, I recorded last second shot Indiana upset Kentucky at the buzzer, and I've had a feeling, hey, and hey. I got the phone out. You did? You had that feeling? Was, and it was like, the video's basically gone viral from really? my, my video because it's like the fan perspective, and it was like unbelievable, and everybody's just like, oh my God. And of course, my buddy was on the team. He's like, this is the coolest video I've ever seen. That's hard to do because you're like into the moment watching the game, and you don't know if they're going to make the yeah. shot, and then all of a sudden, you were just recording, perfect oh. timing, everything worked Stormed out. Stormed to the court, kept the video going, the whole deal, whole experience. So now I get to relive that experience. Yep. Kevin, That's, you have a moment where you're like, I can't believe I caught it on camera. I've been caught on camera. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, explanation needed. Uh -oh. Lance but, knows uh -oh. the story. When I ran into the gate going to our old <laughs> yeah. place of work, and I realized after I 
knocked the gate off and destroyed it as I'm walking into the building. I'm like, well, no one will notice. And then I went, it's on video. Uh, <laughs> busted on camera. Yep, yep, yep. So they put it on their website and showed everybody, look how dumb this guy is. And then I had to pay the insurance premium and all that. You can't believe Ouch. that moment was caught on camera or you were busted on camera doing something you weren't supposed to be. 314 531 9898. We'll take your calls and texts next. Stop in and join the combo. 314-531-9898. The Wake Up with Brett and Julie on Y98 St. Louis. Can't believe the camera was rolling and I saw it. 314-531-9898. Rachel, who called into the show from South City yesterday. Now you're hooked. You're like part of the show, Rachel. <laughs> Yeah, I was just calling. It's kind of like a reverse one because I got a ticket for running a stop sign, and I know I didn't run the stop sign. I'm an excellent driver, and I pride myself on being an excellent driver. And so I had my lawyer request the dash cam footage from the police officer's car, and it caught where I stopped at the stop sign, and my ticket was completely, it went away, and I won my case. What? I have never heard of that in my wow. life. Never. Pull that. Yeah, I was so you told adamant. That my, pull it. Pull the footage. I, pull it. I was, I was so adamant. I told my lawyer. I said, I swear on everyone who has passed away in my life, I swear I did not run that stop sign. And sure enough, they pulled the dash cam footage and it showed that I stopped at the stop sign and I didn't get a ticket. You're a unicorn, Rachel. You're a unicorn. Yeah. yeah. Who knows someone who does You that? need to buy a lottery ticket. Yeah. <laughs> what a story. Thank you so much for calling in, Rachel. Thank you. You are amazing. Greg, what did you uh, bust and see on camera? Well, my grandson installed a camera on my uh, condominium last week. And the first morning I woke up after it was installed, I checked the footage. And sure enough, my neighbor took the trash out at 5.30 a.m. completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow. Why would anyone do that? Like, oh, yeah, I forgot to take the trash out. Let me go out there just naked. I, I couldn't explain it if I tried. If we didn't ask, man or yeah, one? It was a man. Uh. <laughs> he's, all, he's all disappointed. Yeah. Man, I was hoping to be a hot band, but it was just a guy with swinging. Were you able to catch? Was he? Did he have shoes, socks on, or was he just straight up all the way Jaybird? It, it was. It was all the way. He didn't even put slippers on, eh? I get guy didn't want to miss trash day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to tell him to have his wife pick up some chores. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Greg. Well played. Thanks for the call, man.